Greg the Water Guy at Quality Water Treatment at www.qualitywatertreatment.com. Today I want to go over how to unpack and set up your Soft Pro water softener. So I've already unpacked the system uh, and I've already removed the components from the brine tank and I've already installed the neoprene jacket. The neoprene jacket just wraps around the tank and zips up, real simple to do. Uh, you have a handle here, you can pull up on it on both sides if you need help with that, just to get it straightened out. It also has a nice pocket here to put your service manual and your quick start guide and whatever else, other paperwork you want to keep with your system. Okay. So when you get your system, the first thing you're going to do uh, is you're going to remove the bright tank. Okay, inside the bright tank you're going to have your components. Uh, the first thing you're going to have is your box that has your control valve in it as well as your white cone that snaps to the bottom of the control valve before you put it on the tank. And it's also going to have your service manual in there as well as your uh, small box that has your power cord with your transformer in it. Okay. Your second box, the components are loose so I've already pulled everything out. But it has your bypass with your red clips as well as your connectors. It's going to come with your brine well, your uh, your grid plate. Your grid plate also has legs. The legs are not attached. They're going to be laid in the brine tank. You simply snap these into place by pushing them and twisting them. Okay, I've already done it here. I can't take them off because they're already on there. Once they're on there, they're on there. So go ahead and just take them, push them in, snap them into place, and you're ready to go. Comes with a brine well with a safety flow and a lid that goes over the top of it. Now as an accessory, I took these out of the package already. These are the 18 inch quick connect hoses that you could purchase when you purchase your soft pro water softener. One end, the one inch slips over the top of your plumbing. The other end slides right into the bypass valve is secured with the red clamps. These are only meant for the soft pro water softener. They do not work on any other system. I will go over how to put these in here in a little bit for you. So we're going to start with the assembly of the bright tank. This opening here slides into the tank facing towards the outside hole of the bright tank. Okay. This tube here is also in the bright tank. You're going to pull it out beforehand. It doesn't have the nut on it. You're going to stick it through the tube. You're going to slide the gray nut over here. Slip the insert inside. And then the other end here is a black nut. You slip it over, put the insert in right here. Now that's done, you take your brine well with your safety foot 90 degree elbow. Face it towards the brine line that we just stuck through the tube. You push it down the hole and it locks into place like that. You take your nut. Screw it onto your safety flow, 90 degree elbow here. Okay, you're just going to hand tighten that on there like that. Okay. You're going to take your brine well cap, slip it over the top of the brine well. Got to twist that, just kind of sets it over like that. Okay. 
Now your bride tank is assembled. Put your handle on. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is this cap here. It comes on the tank temporarily to keep the resin from spilling out of the tank. And when you get your system, sometimes UPS or FedEx, they'll lay the tanks on them sides or they'll lay them upside down. Um, even though the tank says fragile this side up, the box does, I mean, it's really not a concern because of the fact that we do use these caps now to keep the resin from falling out of the tank. So don't be overly concerned if it's laying on its side or upside down. And when you unpack it, just uh, you know, check everything and make sure that the tank doesn't have any any damage to it. Um, if it is, just, just contact us and we'll take care of it for you. Okay. Now, this is a 48,000 grain water softener. Uh, from 24,000 grain all the way up to 48,000 grain is already preloaded with the resin. If you purchase a 64,000 grain or larger, it's only going to be partially loaded with the resin because of weight restrictions for shipping. You're going to receive a blue funnel and you're going to receive some extra resin. All you would do is use a cap or some tape and tape the top of this tube so resin can't get down in it. Use the funnel, stick it over the top, add the resin that we gave you. Remove the plug or tape from the tube. Clean the resin uh, from the, th the threads here with a soft brush or water. Okay, and then at that point, you're going to take the white cone, stick it to the bottom of the valve, twist it till it locks into place. You're going to take the valve and the tube with the cone, and you're going to slip it over this tube right here, just like that. Okay. And you're going to hand tighten the control valve onto the tank. Okay, just get it nice and snug. Don't have to use a wrench or anything like that, it's already fitted. Okay, now for demonstration purposes, so you folks can see what I'm doing, I'm going to turn this around. So now we're going to install our bypass valve. You pull these red clips out and set them aside. You notice one side is marked inlet, the other side is outlet. The inlet is, uh, of course, from your main water supply, either from after your pressure tank if you're on your own private well, or um, it's coming from your main water line uh, before the water enters the house, or if you have a loop, you're going to make sure that the line that you cut to bring in here is the water line coming from the bay. I'll go over that with you here in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get these installed. Bypass valve gets installed with the handles upward. Locked into place. Put your red clips back in. A lot of these red clips, what I do, is I just give them a gentle pull. Make sure they're locked into place. Okay. Now, if you did not get the quick connect hoses, if you didn't order those, you're going to have your fittings. Now, with these fittings, you do not want to use Teflon paste or pipe dope of any sort. You would use Teflon tape. Okay? These here slip into place. It's like this. Just like that. And then your red clip, just like the one for the bypass, slips into place and locks. Okay. Same with this one. Same idea. Okay. I'm going to leave those out real quick. So I want to go over the quick connects with you. Uh, the quick connects, one end slips over the top of your plumbing in your home. It's one inch. This end here slips into your bypass valve and is secured with the same red clip that I just showed you that secures the other fittings. Now you do not want to push these in to your bypass valve and then bend them and turn them and hook them to your pipe, your plumbing. You want to do just the opposite. You want this end here 
you go ahead and stick into your plumbing first. Then you can bend these however you want. Stick them in place. And slip your red clip over the top. Okay, so that's how that works. So we're going to go ahead and put these fittings back in. In. Okay. Now, after you're done doing that, you're going to take your brine line, stick it up in here, and tighten it down. You're just going to hand tighten it, snug it up a little bit, and you're ready to go there. Okay, I'm going to take this off for now so I can turn the valve back around when we're done. So, um, the next thing you want to do is you want to hook your drain line up. Now, this, this nut right here with this swivel fitting for your drain line, you do not want to take this nut off. This nut has a drain flow control button inside of it. It needs to be in there for the system to work properly. Okay? So, you're going to pick up either half inch ID or 5 inch OD flexible tubing with a hose clamp. You're going to slip it over the top of this bar fitting right here. Uh, go ahead and use your hose clamp and clamp it on to secure it and run that drain line to your designated area. You always want to run the drain line into an area that has an air gap. So I'll just give you an example, uh, a lot of people use, especially if they're installing a utility closet where their washer or dryer is or a garage, they'll run the drain line over to the, uh, the washing machine uh, drain. So that drain is usually about this big around. You have your wash tube drain that goes into it. You have room for your half inch uh, ID tubing from here to go into that, which still leaves you open area around so the system can breathe. The air gap basically is what they call it. If you run it into a sump drain, that's okay. It's the same idea. You have a drain there, it's open area. Same with outdoors. Okay. Now, if you're in a, in a uh, application where you need to run the drain on rigid, rigid pipe, uh, basically, all you do is use um, the half-inch ID tubing, cut a small piece off, slip it over the top of the barbed fitting here, use a hose clamp to clamp it down, and then attach another uh, fitting, which is a basically a, another barb by half-inch thread uh, with a hose clamp, and then you could screw a male adapter, a PVC male adapter into that, and then run it out where you want it, run it, use some 90 degree elbows, wherever you want to do there. Um, so that's how you want to do that, okay? So now that all that is done, turn this around. Let's talk about plumbing, okay? So now if you're on city water and you have a, a pre-looped already set up for you, pipe coming in, pipe coming out, um, if you're not 100% sure what pipe is which, if they're not marked, and even if they are, I'm always on the cautious side when I'm installing, so I always double check. Um, what you want to do is turn off the main water coming into the home. Go inside the house, remove a shower head, for instance, anything that's high up, and turn the cold water on. Go to some other faucets like a bathtub as well as some other regular faucets and remove the aerators off those regular faucets and open the cold water up. That'll drain the water off of your uh, off of your household lines there for the most part. Use a mop bucket or a five gallon bucket of some sort. Stick it underneath the pipes as you cut them. And then what you want to do is have somebody go out and gradually turn the water back on just a little bit so you can capture the water coming out of whatever pipe is the inlet and mark that pipe, okay? Shut the water off, dry your fittings off, uh, go ahead and uh, your inlet side that you marked, bring it into the inlet side that is marked on the water softener with the tag, and then come out of the water softener your outlet back into the loop that is your outlet side, back into your home, okay? Now, if you're on a little private well, uh, you want to install the system after your pressure tank, not before your pressure tank. If you do not have a pre-looped line in your home with city water, uh, then basically you would basically do the same thing. You would identify 
the main water line coming into the home, you would cut that line, bring it into the inlet side of the softener, and then come back out of the softener and back into the line going to the home. Uh, and you want to do that before that main water line tees off and goes to anything else inside the home. So that way everything in the home is treated. Okay. So uh, I'm going to turn this back around here so you can see. Once you have it plugged in, you turn your water back on, you hear the tank fill, and you hear it stop. Once that happens is your inlet side of your bypass valve. You want to go ahead and open that up slowly. Let the tank fill with water. Okay. You'll hear the pressure, pressure everything, pressure rise. You'll hear water do its thing. Okay. And then you go ahead and open this bypass up. And then go to the nearest faucet inside the hole. Turn it on slowly and just let it run until no more air is in the water. The best way to check that is with a glass. Just continuously fill it up and dump it until the water is clear. It doesn't have any coloration or any air cloudiness to it. And then you're ready to go. As far as programming goes, we have programming videos on our website. Um, we also have the, uh, the quick installation guide on our website as well. And uh, you can visit our site at www.qualitywatertreatment.com to uh, look at those videos. Or you can find us on YouTube by, uh, by searching Quality Water Treatment, qualitywatertreatment.com or Soft Pro Water Softeners, and you'll find those videos. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 866-278-4130, or use our live chat on our website, or email us at help at qualitywatertreatment.com. And we'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much for shopping with us and have a great day.